Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, amen. Today's a new day, great day, grand day. And I'm so glad that you're here. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh, this video here is sponsored by Cricut, y'all. Y'all already know I've been hype. If y'all watched my last video by Cricut, I've been hype. And I know it's been a minute since I posted a video by Cricut because I've been, your girl's been at back working out the kinks. So I can give y'all this content and I am so pumped. But anyway, I'm not going to get on this talking. Welcome everybody back to the channel. Welcome everybody who's new. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sabrina. Mama 4, I'm a virtual bestie. I just post whatever I feel like posting, cleaning, cooking, DIYs. And if you like that type of content, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so enough of the talking. This video here is about how to make a lemonade out of your cricket how to turn your cricket into a business huh or there are endless amount of things that you can make just by having the cricket alone that there's so many things that you can actually make and create where it just you end up making your money back signs signs you can make signs to personalize cups and tumblers and things of that nature of uh, you've seen people who do the t-shirts you've seen the t-shirts I literally made this t-shirt because um, y'all know how much I love my plants I only make stickers and have them printed out like it, it literally all these different stickers and have it the machine labels and things of like this this is for my pantry these are the labels I personally made for my pantry. Look, as hoodies, you name it. As far as making things, if you can think of it, look around your house, go to the store nine times a ten. The Cricut machine can be a, a true asset to, um, to your business and everything. And I also want to say, especially if you are a business owner, you need a Cricut machine. I'm saying it. I don't care if you're a brick and mortar business owner or if you are online shop, Cricut Machine is going to help you out when it comes to personalizing your um, poly, the poly, what do they call the poly ma mailers, to personalizing, uh, making personalized stickers for your business, wall decals. Like literally, I have my wall decal. I know it's a little crooked because I didn't do it properly to make it straight, but I have my social media following wall decal back here you can make decals for your car for your window display but i did want to go to the next step on to making money with your cricut machine and how to do first it goes with a niche you need to find your niche because the better a niche you are for any brand or business you want to do it's better to know who your audience is so um and a niche is basically knowing your target knowing having a, a specific subject for your audience basically if that makes sense so um in niches that are really popular for what with making with the Cricut machine is like for weddings so you can make the acrylic signs that a lot of people use not only in their businesses and nail salons they also use for their wedding so if you have like a if you want to just make trinkets and personalized things for like bridal parties you can have a whole store just for weddings and it, it does really popular on um, websites like etsy ebay amazon all those type of shops another niche that you can do uh, with making money with your uh cricket is um helping out other businesses uh, you can make boxes uh, all that stuff that I mentioned that if you have a business you can do, you can you can sell those to the businesses as far as making window display, um, acrylic uh, window displays, a car displays. Um, you can do wall decal display and wall decal for the business. So if you want to specific for businesses, there's another one. If you like to make a lot of different gifts and want to help somebody make personalized cards and little trinkets like that, you can do that. Or personalized aprons, personalized bags. You can look at personalize a little sign like, you know, right here for someone. This be a cute gift to give somebody, say, especially if they have like a garden or something that they love or a kitchen. Be like, you can personalize it and make it for their kitchen and their color. So the days of searching high and low, looking for somebody's gift, you know, you know, so-and-so has a red decor in their kitchen and you trying to look on Amazon high and low for a sign or something to for their, for their red decor. Um, red decor for their kitchen you can make it yourself another niche is for for gifts um, if you want to make trinkets and gifts and stuff like 
Like you can make signs and have like a whole store that's geared for um, personalized birthday cards and aprons and like little trinkets that make people feel special. You can cut that with the Cricut machine. Um, personalization itself is very popular with Cricut. I love it. You can have, um, especially with people who are going back to college, going back to school, if you're anything like my kids who lose everything, um, and sometimes just writing it down with a Sharpie marker just is not, one, not aesthetically pleasing, two, doesn't last very long when you wash it a couple times. You can literally personalize labels and stuff and have the acrylic, iron-on acrylic and or the permanent acryl acrylic and just put it on everything and, peop and people buy that. You can literally have a t-shirt business and just sell if you're already crafty and have that design. But if you're not crafty, you can still make a business, still make a business with Cricut because that personalization, um, making uh, logos and stuff for making the vinyl logos and stuff like that for a company. Because all the company is going to do is just send it to you and you just print it on transfer to the print it to the acrylic the Cricut machine and there you go send it to them all you need to do is find out your niche um so if you want to help out business that's pretty low maintenance you don't need to be crafty to do um have a business that helps out other businesses um and then also having a personalization um niche too you don't need to be crafty because all they need all they doing is picking out the font picking out the color and all you do is transfer all that to the type of vinyl they want, cut, put it in an envelope, and ship it. Not hard. Even if you're not crafty, you can easily go to, uh, they have, um, in design space, Cricut's design space, they have a lot of projects and things of that such nature that you can easily click, punch, uh, cut, 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 paste, done. Like, they really take cut the middleman for those who are not like, I'm not crafty, I can't even think of Cricket got you, boo. Cricket got you. Okay, but going to the next thing, how to make money is a branding. Now that you figured out your niche, now you kind of figure out the direction you want to go. It's I'm looking at my notes. It's important to know your branding. Branding is everything when it comes to your business. So this is a good time to pick out a name. Pick out a name that kind of goes with your niche. So it can like it can just flow and look really pretty. You might want to put a little logo or um also make sure you are promoting your business on other social medias. Do not just depend on that platform that you're selling your stuff on to promote your business. No, you need to be out here promoting it on other that's being Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all of that stuff. Whoa, whatever they do. Anyway, so you need to be woeing. Do they still woe? I don't know, y'all. I digress. So, like I said, making sure that you're all on other social medias and you are promoting your um, your business. Another thing, making sure you have a cohesive theme because with having a brand, you need a theme. So, if you're selling wedding things, you want to make sure the name says it could be Sabrina's Wedding Supplies and then you have like little roses and everything looks lacy and wedding and wedding and wedding. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you want to make sure that it's just a nice Co cohesive theme when they go to your shop they know that when I come here this is when on to the not um, we're gonna be talking about what you need now that you know what you can do with the machine and all these other things and what you want to make with the machine and you got your name what do you need to start for if you want to have a business with your Cricut I highly recommend you having the Cricut maker or the Cricut Air. I'm pretty sure you can you can do things with the Cricut Joy, but they're just going to be more on a smaller scale. Um, so you might can't do like some a bit. Say you want to do a large uh, banner for a business. You're not going to be able to make it with the Cricut Joy because it's a smaller machine. But you are going to be able to make some smaller crafts and things of that such nature. It's really cute. But I recommend going to the maker because that's the one that I have and I absolutely love it. But if you have the Cricut Air, you can still you can still get it. I like the Cricut Maker because there are more blades and more opportunities for I can to if I want to advance in engraving and doing something way bigger and cutting some thicker materials and things of that such nature, 
the Cricut Maker has a lot of attachments and things that I can do that's really awesome. That's why I go for that. But if you're like, nah, I just want to cut some vinyl and make a couple banners a little whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, then you're good with the Cricut Air. Um, it's get you need to get you need to have a cutting mat, period. Um, and I'm going to have the links to everything I'm discussing, so you don't have to go searching. Got you, boo. So just all the links that I'm discussing will be in the description box. So you need a cutting mat. Um, you also need a central, uh, cutting, the central tool kit. I really like this kit because it literally has everything you need when it comes to cutting, slicing, and making sure everything's precise. It's really like a one-stop shop. I like things that are one-stop shop, grab and go type of thing. And then also you're going to need your vinyl depending on what type of project. So they have the iron-on vinyl. They have the, uh, they, but you don't necessarily need vinyl. It's just depending on what your craft or you're making. So if you are making cards, then you're going to be needing, you know, cardstock and stuff like that. Um, but if you're trying to just do um, just some, if you're trying to make stickers, then you probably want to get sticker, the printable sticker paper and go there. So it's just, you got to figure out what it is that you're trying to make. But if you just want to start off something basic as uh, making labels and I'll do a video a separate video where I go in more I'm trying not to make this video too long I'll do a separate video where I go more in detail so don't worry more Cricut videos are on the way where I'm gonna go more detail of the different types of materials only reason why I haven't did it yet because I've been testing out all the materials and so I want to make sure I work on all my kinks so I can give y'all the real real you know for now if you're just starting off and you're like okay I want to start my business I don't know if I'm ready to go that deep all you need is some your iron-on vinyl, any color. Um, if you want to just make some t-shirts and things uh, that you want to iron on, like your pillowcases and stuff, you can also make pillows. Pillows are very popular to make, too. You're for removable uh, vinyl, and that's also good to have, especially if it's in your pantry and you're putting on. Like for me, one canister for a while may be for uh, oatmeal, and then I may change it to something different. But if I put a permanent vinyl, then I can't take it off. So I like um, to use removable vinyl in that area. And then you got your permanent vinyl. And that's where hello, it's permanent. And that's what you're going to put on your tumblers and all the other things that you know that is not, you don't want it to move. So those are some of the vinyls. Those are your basic vinyls that, I mean, you want to have when you want to start off with some really simple um projects. And those are the ones that I love to just, I always have. Next is where to sell. Okay, I got my product, got everything where I'm going to go. Hmm. Where you want to go is they have this plethora of places that you can sell. You can have your own website. Highly recommend, especially if you want to be really serious about it. Definitely in, um, want to invest in getting your own website. Um, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, um, craft shows. I mean, literally, the sky is the limit. Your next door neighbor <laughs> and, and, and they family and them. So you really can, anybody who got cash in their pocket, you can sell it to. But no, but there are different platforms that you definitely can sell. Um, definitely look into which one would be the best for you. The next, last thing, we step, now that you got your business established, you're selling, um, you definitely want to get you a business license and do it the legal the legal way. Make sure you have a separate account for your business. Have a business license. Get your tax ID number, which is the IE the EIN number, um, and kind of make sure you have all of that your ducats in a row because you don't want miss the IRS knocking at your door. Okay, you don't need those problems. So making sure you have that all together, and there you go. You are have a full on business, and you are making really good money because there's really good money and on top of that i did want to leave you guys um with some bonus items that are really popular and that's something that you should definitely look in and wanting to um see what's on trend on etsy and all these places all right i just wanted to show you guys some of the crafts and things that you can easily make with cricut that are really popular and people love and I've just looked up home decor on Etsy and I don't know if you can see they have like right here this sign you could easily make with your Cricut machine all you need is a piece of wood and the vinyl boom books bricks boom paint it there you go vinyl right there books right there 
you can use the vinyl pillow. There you go. And this is just on the popular section of what's being um, people are buying right now. Personalized. There you go. So there's so many, and that's just signs. When I'm telling, when I tell you, there's endless possibilities of what you make. Just know your niche. Where you're gonna go. I hope you this video definitely helped. I appreciate you guys. If you have any more questions or suggestions or questions, videos that you would like to see me or regarding the Cricut machine, please put them in the comment section. I am so excited to be making some more content. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Catch you guys in my next video. And as always, guys, God bless. Mwah.